me and Jeff uh, spent a little bit of time out the other night. Thanks for helping with the mic. Um, along with Sugar Sean. Sugar Sean's been in town. We went out. We had a, a little bit of an evening together. Uh, we went out. We went to, he went to Hyde. We went to a couple different places. We ended up at this, um, at this after party. Mm. We're at this after party. It was hosted by the Chainsmokers. Great guys. And uh, let me back up a second here. I'm sorry. What, the great a guys couple, part? A couple, a couple weeks ago, we told a story on this very podcast. A story about a girl that you had once had a romantic interest in, that you had a romantic relationship with for a while. For a while, yeah. That um, we, we bleeped out her name. Uh, that that uh, after you left for Puerto Rico, ended up coming on to me a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Her and, name's... Well, she's a whore. Okay, once again. Dude, Jesus. Once again, <laughs> that part will not be heard by the public. <laughs> Anyways, we told the story here on the show about how, uh, you know... I, maybe the idea that Logan was out of the picture and uh, there was a moment where she uh, took my finger and put it down her throat to show that she had no gag reflex and all these things and said that, and, and I had said that she had offered to, to, to perform fellatio on me. Okay, right? Pretty normal conversation for impulsive. Well, last week, uh, to, to my detriment, I'm listening to my second favorite podcast on, in the world, Tana Monjo, Uncensored, classic, incredible podcast program. Yeah, love her. Love Tanner. And uh, I hear a, a, a girl by the name of Brooke, a friend of mine, telling this story about how, one, Logan Paul is a scumbag for leading her friend on for so long and continuously going back and forth and leaving relationships and then getting head from blah, 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 all this shit about Logan. But also how I was this immaculate liar. And the entire story <laughs> about this girl was told to cover up the fact that I was trying to hook up with her and that it was unreciprocated. Imagine my dismay. <laughs> Imagine my dismay in hearing this. Mike, no, no clapping. Mike is, not, Mike is not a liar. No, hold girls. on a sec. Let's, let's, let's dig into this. Yeah, let's dig in. I was appalled. Appalled. I mean, dismay doesn't even barely, barely cover <laughs> the audacity is what I would say, okay? So I, I hear this, uh, you know, and it's just really fucked up that these two talk about the situation like this and Mike's a fucking liar and told everybody this story and it didn't happen like that. And that's why I don't fuck with them, blah, blah, well, blah. Well, Brooke, so Brooke so is her, her roommate, right? She's, best she's friend a of podcast co-host. That, no, 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 but best friend of the girl for like years. Correct, of the girl. That's how she, know, that's how she, there must have been, she, must have lied. Correct. To Brooke. Well, hold on, let me tell you. We don't know that it was a lie. That the girl that keeps getting bleeped out, I believe, yeah. said to Brooke, that story is completely untrue. Yeah. Mike had tried to DM me and hook up with me. I didn't want to, so he made up an elaborate backstory like he was J.R.R. Tolkien. Let's see the- let's see the Making the next fucking hobbit. Let's see the DMs. Shut up, Jeff. I'm telling a fucking story right now. Right? <laughs> Je Jeff goes, just, no, just goes, he goes, prove it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey my, my ass clinched. I was like, oh so, shit. So listen. So, so this whole story was made up and fabricated, right? And by the way, do you want to know how I, how I know beyond the fact that, of course, I watched Tan Uncensored? Being tagged by multiple accounts. Mike Malak, the liar, strikes again, this piece of shit. He may have got off crack, but he's still a lying scumbag. <laughs> scumbag piece of crap. That was, that was, not right now, guys. <laughs> only at certain, only when there's something that's, <laughs> that actually drives applause. <laughs> But I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but you know what? I love you guys going with your back. So just like keep doing it. But that. I keep getting tagged in all these accounts. So I'm like, you know what? <laughs> Shit. Are we going to fucking address this? I text Tan. I say, Tan, this is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. That was not a lie. It was, a, it was the seriousness of the situation. I got people that would back me up. She's like, well, Mike, I don't know. So I go to this party the other night with Sugar and, I'm excited. and Jeff and all these people. And I'm walking around, making greetings, talking to people, so on and so forth. And I walk up to a crew of people, and who do I see standing right there in front of the me? The girl. No. Good old Brookie. Brookie, Brookie McBrookster. Oh, Brookie damn, McBrookster. McBrook. And I walk up, and I walk up, and I pause for a second, and I say, well, well, well. <laughs> That's exactly what I said. I said, look who we got here. And she looked at me, and it looked like a fuck. She saw a fucking ghost, bro. She was like. I never thought I'd see Mike out at a party <laughs> in LA. <laughs> Ever. It's four in the morning. You're the last person I thought I'd see here. I said, Brookie, Brookie, why did you tell such an audacious story about me on the show? And she said, 
the following. I'm going to take a second right now to apologize to you. I made a very severe error. And I said, do tell. <laughs> do tell, Brooke. What, what kind of error are we talking about? And she goes, well, all right, I'll just tell you. You know, I recorded that episode and uh, I thought I had the whole thing figured out and everything made so much sense. But a couple days after the, the podcast aired, the guy I was talking to for the past two years came up to me and said that the same girl that I defended wanted to let him know that she has no gag reflex. She's on a fucking rampage. Took Bro, his, can I, how took many fingers his finger has been in his girl's and mouth? put it down her throat to let everyone know or to let him know that she does not have a gag reflex. And I said, well, that's just a startling detail, isn't it? <laughs> and she said, listen, I, I feel terrible. And, you know, of course, my virgin ears are waiting for just one, one word to come out of her mouth. Sorry, I apologize. Didn't hear it that night, but I said to her, listen, Brookie, I like you. I've always, I think you're a great podcast co-host. You're a great person. But both Logan Paul and myself would be dazzled if you were to make a public apology. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. We asked. We asked. It, my, it's surprising that you guys are just so, like, baffled about this girl sticking Jeff, fingers down her Jeff, throats. Jeff, you know her. You know her. Yes. Yeah, and you've known her for a while. And you, you've seen her go from innocent little sweetheart. So should, we, should we help her? With what? Fucking blowjob rehab? <laughs> The fuck you're, you're talking about. Exists, you're talking bro. about like. All right, all right, honey. You're talking. I'm just don't saying. Don't put your hands near your mouth for 31 so, days. Sounds like she's right, gonna wean you off cock in this fucking rehabilitation What's center good? in Malibu. What's it doesn't good? exist, Jeff. You get I don't to. Think you it get exists. to get off drugs. Why can't she get, get off giving <laughs> stick for a little bit? I'm it's, just asking so, questions. No, 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 no. You know what it's, I mean? It's not that. It's not that. Go, like she's yo, a nice no, girl. No, ladies, go go suck some dick. 100%. Go suck some Definitely dick. your but, man's but, but, dick. No, no, no. But don't stab people that care about you in the uh, back. Uh, That's the issue. Bro, bro, he's my best friend, and I had like a, a, a long-term, like, whatever the fuck with this girl. Yep. She tried to suck his dick. That's fucked up. Her best friend and roommate going that's, after her man. That's bad. Who are you? You fucking scumbag. Like, yeah, I'm a scumbag a little. I lead girls on some time here, to, here and there, but I'll never pull All right, hold on a like second. That. Once again, not to get into the defense mode, but I do want to back this. I want to pump the brakes. We're getting, we're getting crazy here. What, like, what do you think it is that's, like, going on? And I think, Jeff, you were asking this. Like, what is going on, bro? Like, <laughs> why is it that you feel so intent on making it known that, that, you, that you're the, the, the queen of Bob? You're Lorena Bobbitt. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what is it, bro? Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like she wants her fucking level 10 attribute in some sort of blowjob video game. Like, I don't know. I don't she, know. What she, 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 could, she could get it, too, though. That's the thing. You she, told me. You told me. I, of course, I don't know because I would never do something like that to my boy. Oh, <laughs> well, thanks. you also told me I couldn't. I couldn't pull it off. Now, man, who, I bet you could pull it off. No, I would never, dude. I just couldn't do that. There's just for the, just DJs, for the story. Just for the, the story. Just so we can the really podcast. round out this I podcast. I yeah. I, I would drive her to, to BJ Rehab, though. In Dune Point. Where is it? Point, point Dune. Where is it? Where is it? <laughs> I mean, so That's anyways. Sad. Uh, it's sad. It's sad. You know, Brookie, Tana, love you guys. Sucks that I had to go down like that, but uh, I'll never talk to either of you guys again. I blocked you both on Instagram. <laughs> Damn. <laughs>